Registro. Okay. Ma'am? You're gonna ask me questions. Right? Just a couple, yeah. I'm going to let you do it. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to ask questions. We're looking for a win tonight against Oak Mountain High. They're coming in for our homecoming game at 7 o'clock tonight at Heat Ridge Stadium. Gonna take one quick break from football though and speak with Miss Rita Moritz, who is going to be speaking tomorrow night at the Seddon Baptist Church. Y'all must be pretty good buddies with Adam to get up here on a football Friday. <laughs> Could be. Get real close to that for me. Okay. Scream at me. Scream Pre at pretend me. like I just uh, egged your car or something like that. And I can pretend you're one of the prodigals. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, good morning, by the way. Good morning. What time did y'all get up to get up here today? Well, it depends on whether you're talking about me or about Harry. I was up about quarter till five. He got up at six when I woke him up. So y'all are early risers too? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, Miss Rita Moritz is going to be at the Seddon Baptist Church tomorrow night. Talk a little bit about the title of your speech and then tell us a little bit, you know, the, uh, the cliff notes so of why some folks might want to come out there and listen to you tomorrow night. Okay. Thank you, John. First, let me say how, how thrilled I am to be able to be here and how much I appreciate y'all having me on here. Um, you know, America's families are in trouble. Um, 2.9 million kids are being raised primarily by their grandparents. Uh, in 2 million of those households, there's no parent at all. Whether it's substance abuse or incarceration, there are just lots and lots of, um, of reasons that that's happening. But it's, I think, a dangerous trend. And the divorce rate among Christian homes uh, is close to or equal to the divorce rate for non-Christian homes. Uh, and I see some alarming statistics uh, because of that, um, I have a ministry called Precious Prodigal. I have a blog by that name, and I also am uh, working on a book by that name. Okay. Um, and I and I speak in various venues about having a prodigal. And uh, the prodigal comes from the Luke 15 account of the prodigal who went away from his home, his family, his father, and everything that he knew was that was right into a far country, um, and that's why the name Prodigal. Um, for those people who were up last night worrying about a loved one, whether that was a spouse, um, a sibling, a child, or a parent, this um, engagement on Saturday night is for you. Uh, it starts at 6 o'clock. I promise, absolutely promise, I'll have you out of there in time to go see Honey Boo Boo if that's what you want to do. <laughs> or Alabama. <laughs> or Alabama. Alabama's probably a better bet than Honey Boo Boo, actually. Man, it might be more fun, yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's what we're about. Um, while you cannot do anything to change another person's behavior, you, there absolutely are some things that you can do to help yourself. And the topic I'll be speaking on Saturday night at Seven Baptist Church is So You Love a Prodigal, what you can do, what you can't do, and why you can't quit. And there are some valid reasons why you can't quit. We're speaking with Rita Moritz on this Friday morning, and like she just said, she's going to be speaking tomorrow night at 6 at the Seven Baptist Church at 1015 Hardwick Road in Pell City. Uh, 6 o'clock star, she said she'd have everybody out in time go turn on the television and watch uh, Alabama and Ole Miss. They kick off at 8.15 and like we said, not far down the road, Honey Boo Boo is going to be in Tell <laughs> City. But uh, and you also have a ministry, uh, Precious Prodigal, and you have a phone number. If people need information on this event tomorrow night or anything along these lines, maybe some help, 814-9852. 814-9852. If they want, John, to um, take a look at my blog, because I blog routinely Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, mm -hmm. and it's on this topic, how you can help yourself, how you can take care of yourself when you're hurting. Uh, and if they just Google Precious Prodigal, my blog will come up. Okay. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself. I mean, you don't really sound like you grew up uh, <laughs> south of here. Well, I lived up around uh, Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. for 15 years before uh, we moved to Alabama. And I mean, I've heard 
if you're good when you die, you go to heaven. But if you're very good when you die, you get to come to Alabama. How about that? And that certainly, that certainly was the truth for us. So uh, how long have you been here? Uh, for seven years. Okay. And I've gotten involved in the arts since I've been here. Um, I write poetry, mm -hmm. and I've been lucky enough to get some of my poetry published. I um, also had an article published in Educational Leadership Journal uh, called Tough Love for Kids at Risk. And what I do right now, I am retired, semi-retired, um, and I teach in the court referral program. And so I, I get to see a lot of these people who have been arrested for uh, an alcohol or a drug-related offense. Um, and I've stopped being surprised when those folks come in and they have praying mamas and grandmothers and praying daddies. I, I stop being surprised at that. So I'm busy. I, um, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, and you're too much of a gentleman to ask. However, I'm not going to. I'm not going to stop living until I die. Um, and even then, they're going to drag me off, saying just one more ride on the merry-go-round, because I love my life. I write poetry. Um, I write other things. And mostly, I have a heart for people who are in trouble. Well, with, with all of the talent and qualifications across the table, for me, I'm obviously in over my head. But I hope we got word out where you're going to be tomorrow night at the Seddon Baptist Church, Saturday night, 6 o'clock. doesn't cost anything, does it? No, not, okay. not a penny. Want to make sure we get that out. And the uh, Precious Prodigal can be seen on a blog. Just Google Precious Prodigal. It will pop up. And there is a telephone number, by the way. If you're maybe having some of those issues, if your grandma, you know, raising the kids, like she said, millions do in this country now, which is, you know, used to, grandma would move in with the kids because she had to. Right. Maybe gra maybe daddy died, whatever. And now grandkids are moving in with grandma because they have to. It's been a complete reversal from when I was a kid. Yes, it has. Because grandma lived with us because that's what you did. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I uh, appreciate you coming up. Be safe getting out of here. we got a lot of school traffic that fronts the station. And I hope we get some folks out. Well, I wish nobody had to come. But if you need this sort of ministry, Rita Moritz will be at the Seddon Baptist Church tomorrow night at 6 with her hand up since she'll get you up in time to watch Alabama Wolf Bowl this tomorrow night. Thank you so much, John. Thank you for being a part of our Friday morning, and we'll keep the number here if anybody needs any info on that. I need to catch up on some breaks.